Dear children, welcome to today's class. In today's class, we are going to talk about an important cell organelle that is mitochondria. Our body, it requires lot of energy. For all physiological process, if you want to run, if you want to lift something, for digestion, for respiration, for heart to function, for all activities, we need energy. Do you know from where we get the energy? Yes, we get the energy from this particular organelle that is called as mitochondria. So this mitochondria, it is a cell organelle that is present in all eukaryotic organisms. So what do you mean by eukaryotic organisms? The term eukaryotic U means to karyotic, it is derived from a Greek word karyon. Karyon means nucleus. Karyon means nucleus. So, this mitochondria, which is an important cell organelle, it is present in eukaryotic cells or eukaryotic organisms. Eukaryotic organisms. So, now let us learn about what is the typical structure of mitochondria and what are its important functions. If you observe here, this is a typical structure of mitochondria. In cells, there are thousands and thousands of mitochondria, it will be there throughout our body because we need that much of energy. So, this mitochondria, it is a double membrane cell organelle. It is a double membrane cell organelle that is present in organisms. So, you can see that the outer membrane. So, the outer membrane you can see it here. This is the outer membrane. So, that is the outer membrane. If you see the diagram, the outer membrane is there. So, that is what I have shown there in the diagram, outer membrane. But, I told you there are two membranes are there. One is the outer membrane. But the second membrane, which is called as the inner membrane, it will be invaginated or it is inward movement. It shows the inward movement like this. The outer membrane and the inner membrane. The inner membrane, it forces the inner foldings like this. You can see that inner foldings here. These inner foldings are called as cystae. The inner foldings are called as cystae. So, these inner foldings that you can see it here, it is called as cystae. So, the outer membrane is there, inner membrane is there. And apart from that, the mitochondria is a very important cell organelle because it is also known as semi-autonomous organelle, semi-autonomous organelle. So what do you mean by semi-autonomous organelle? This mitochondria, it has its own DNA. So you can see that here, there is a DNA is there. This is the DNA. It also contains another cell organelle which is called ribosome. So ribosome is the cell organelle that is present in, in all organisms, in the primitive organisms as well as in the advanced organisms, you can see the ribosomes. So this mitochondria, the outer membrane, inner membrane and the center region, the region that I am just highlighting here. This region is called as the mat matrix. We call it as matrix. So this region. You can see that matrix. This is the matrix. So what is the speciality about the matrix? Matrix is the region where the energy is produced. The energy are produced in the form of ATP. ATP. Adenosine.
ट्राई फास्फेट अडिनोसाइन ट्राई फास्फेट दट इज कॉल्ड एज एटीपी सो एनर्जी इट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एटीपी so where exactly this process takes place this process takes place in the matrix in the matrix region how in the matrix the inner to the matrix there is an organelle like this there will be a structure like this these structures are called as oxisomes in the inner membrane there will be a structure like this so this structure there will be a base this structure like this a separate structure is present in the inner membrane which we call it as oxisomes r f1 particle oxisomes are f1 particles this is the region where exactly the atp molecules are synthesized so this is a typical structure of mitochondria outer membrane inner membrane matrix is there it has its own dna it has its ribosomes it has the inner foldings consist of and it has the oxisomes are f1 particles these oxisomes are f1 particles mitochondria who discovered this mitochondria this mitochondria it was first discovered by richard altman in the year 1890 and he called the mass bioblast bioblast later in the year 1898 carl benda he only coined the term mitochondria mitochondria now i'm going to just give you what is their important functions of mitochondria in detail so what are the nature of mitochondria i told you the mitochondria is a very important organelle which provides energy so they can change their shape and move around the cell whenever it is needed that is one peculiar character of mitochondria they can change their shape and move around the cells next is whenever there is a need of energy by the cell whenever there is a need for energy by the cell mitochondria being a semi autonomous organelle they can multiply on its own and increases more in number so they can reproduce on their own they can increase they become larger and they can divide on its own whenever the cell does not require less energy so what this mitochondria it will do some of the mitochondria it will die or it will become inactive to balance the energy so whenever energy is required it increases in number whenever energy is not required it will decrease in number that is the nature of the mitochondria so mitochondria the other characteristics the mitochondria produce different types of proteins different types of proteins so mitochondria produce different types of proteins so hundreds of different proteins are also formed by the mitochondria very very important function about mitochondria it is involved in cellular respiration so what is this cellular respiration when we take food it will be stored in the form of glucose c6h12o6 this is the glucose molecule to the glucose molecule oxygen is added oxygen is added to the glucose molecule this process we call it as oxidation of food oxidation of food glucose plus oxygen it is added to that oxidation of food so during this process the by products are six molecules of carbon dioxide plus six molecules of water and during this process energy it is produced this energy it will be stored in the form of atp the whole process 
we call it as cellular respiration this cellular respiration it is carried in the mitochondria that's why the mitochondria it is a very important organelle very important organelle because it provides energy for various physiological process that occurs in our body i hope you have understood the concept why mitochondria is very important